guest is a great big American movie star. I've been wanting him uh, to be a guest here for a long time. Please welcome the American legend that is Wilford Brimley, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. It's very nice to see you, and thanks for taking off your hat. Our, uh, our lighting here is very bad, and we can't normally uh, see anyone if they're wearing a hat. Sometimes when we have country performers here, we don't know who they are. Okay. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I'll tell you why, uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to invite you on the show, uh, apart from the body. I'm curious. You want to... Well, here's the thing. My wife and I were in the supermarket uh, a little while ago, and we were near the produce section. And my wife said, that's Wilford Brimley over there. I said, no, 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 it can't be. Uh, so she took a photograph on her phone, and uh, we had it checked out, and it doesn't seem to have been you. <laughs> Where was the market? Uh, it was in, uh, in uh, Hollywood. Was well, not me. <laughs> so you don't, you don't enjoy produce, then? Oh, I like produce, but I don't like Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand that. That's an interesting thing, because, you know, you've, you've done a lot of movies in Hollywood. You've been very successful. I haven't done you? very many in Hollywood. Most of them have been somewhere else. Really? Yeah. Where, where Florida, oh, yeah. New Mexico, uh, Mexico, Yugoslavia, you know, not Hollywood. Why don't you like Hollywood, man? Too many people. Ah. You know, they, they got people in Florida. I've been there. It's packed. Yeah. But they don't have them in Wyoming. Is that where you live now, Wyoming? That's where I live, yeah. yeah. Do you ride around in a horse there? Uh, many times. Yeah. Many times. What kind of horse have you got? A brown one. <laughs> brown one, eh? I got a brown one, too. You ever see any of them rattlesnakes out there when you're out there? Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah. We kill them. Kill them? <laughs> do you ever eat rattlesnake? you ever eat a rattlesnake? No, why would you? No, they're, they're okay. I've eaten rattlesnake. It's okay. It tastes a little like uh, chicken. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> well, you wouldn't, you, wouldn't eat, you wouldn't eat snake? Oh, I would if I was that hungry, but I try not to get that hungry. <laughs> Yeah, so, nice, like, if, yeah, nice well, people out here, look at them. Good <laughs> Glad to see you all. See, now, now, that was, you see, that seemed odd to me because you, 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 you don't like people, and then you just, you, you were talking to these people. I never said I didn't like people. Oh, just too many, you don't like too many of them at the there same time. There you go, now you're catching them. <laughs> see, in our whole state, which is roughly 500 by 500 miles mm. we got less than a half a million there's more than that and it's six square blocks here <laughs> yeah. and then you know uh, uh, some of my dearest friends live in this city yeah. uh, but here's an example of what I'm talking about we were coming over to this uh, studio today and the driver really swell guy from the north of England, or central England, as mm -hmm. a matter of fact, said, uh, we, have to, we have to skirt around because... Uh, President Obama? Uh, yeah. Is in town for Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, you know, he don't, he don't come to my town. <laughs> And that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so how many people live in your town now? Well, the sign says 1,861, but they're lying. There's not that many there. <laughs> Every time somebody gets 18 years old, they leave. They got no, bit, no reason to stay. Would you ever get bored in a small town, though? You never no. think, oh, I miss the bright lights of, I don't know, Vegas? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, uh... 
I don't get bored wherever I am. Hell, I... I don't know, man. I could keep you here. I could get it going for you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I can bore the ass off any man, sir. What, what's your accent? Where are you from? Scotland. You ever been to, ever been to Scotland? Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> the, closest, the closest I was, I was in Liverpool one time. That's very like my hometown. Yeah, and uh, my grandmother who I did not know because she died before I come along, mm -hmm. was from Scotland. Ah, things are beginning to make sense to me now. <laughs> Her name was Margaret Kirk. Kirk is the Scottish name for a church. Yeah. Yeah. And her husband, my grandfather, was born, I don't know, really in the north part of England or Wales, one, uh, you know. Well, there's a big way. difference, man. Like, you, well, I mean, you can drink with someone from England. You try drinking with someone from Wales, you're going to jail. <laughs> you ever drink with a Welshman, Wilford? Yes. Yeah. Well, then you know what I'm talking about. Well, we take our chances. Yeah. I'll drink, I'll drink with pretty near anybody. Still, uh, you still like to, what, what do you like to drink? You like uh, whiskey? No. No. Soda? I, I walk slow and I drink a lot of water these days. Is that it? That's it. Uh, me too. That's all I drink now, water. I used to drink a lot of whiskey. Things got a little too uh, unboring. Uh, everybody will be right back. Yeah, it says, Wilford Brimley, everybody will be right back. It's the kind of thing, they put it up on the camera because they think I can't remember who I'm talking to or what. <laughs> I know, well, I tell you, you're a nice young fella, and I'm enjoying nice. this conversation with you. Well, it's nice to talk to you, too, Wilford. I, I'm, I'm very, very happy that you came here. I'm a big fan of your work, you know. Well, thank you. Do you know what I was amazed at, though? That I was looking at your uh, resume today. Yeah. And when you did Cocoon, you were the same age as I am now. Okay. And I couldn't grow a mustache like that, man. <laughs> it's a gift. Yeah. <laughs> really is. Really is. Well, now we have a, we have something of a tradition here, sir. So usually at the end of the interview, I offer up the uh, option of an awkward pause, a mouth organ, or a uh, go for a big cash prize. Any of these three options interest you? Do you want to give me something? <laughs> yeah, I could give you an awkward pause. I can give you a mouth organ to play, or I can uh, give you a big cash a chance. Give me the mouth organ. Huh? Can you play? If you, if you can play, you get to win the golden mouth organ, which is a great honor, and I'm not kidding you, it's a really cool mouth organ, but you've got to be able to play. You do? Yeah.